Hey guys, what's going on? Home Porsche. Doing this video. Thinking that the one that I did is the music filling out. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna redo this one again. I'm gonna go <clears throat> mention a couple mods that I did on it. This is a chassis for the 59. Also for the 64. But uh, this right here, the one, the one that I'm gonna show you is actually I got the 59 body on it. Uh, I want to keep it, you know, I kind of see it uh, not too fancy, not too crazy since it's a 59. Maybe you may used to cruise, lay back, and hop it, but not, you know, crazy. You know, set aside, back, front, you know. A little bit of hobby but uh, let me show you a little things I did to it first of all as you can see I had two reefs servos on the back those are the triple force and uh, I got a dual servo in the front with the reef 300s um, I already did some, uh, I can't say it, I guess, a little bit of a mods, modifications on the, on the chassis, because, as you can see, sure, here are the new shocks from Red Cat Racing. The reason I did a, I had to do a couple mods on the on the chassis is because they're too thick. As you can tell, I was running the other uh, custom shocks. They're not as thick as this one's the Red, uh, Red Cat ones, but on the performance, I mean, they do perform pretty good. I, I like, I like the how they hop, how they move, you know, how they function properly. They do come on. Uh, let's see, they got it inside springs. They come. They actually come with the white ones. They're soft. Then uh, the blue ones are more stiff. The chrome ones, I'll say it's like a medium level. So for the hopping on the front, I put two of the blue ones, stiffness, the way it has more hopping. On the back, I put the chrome on the way it has more bounce. So I got two chromes on the back and two blue ones on the front. That's how I got the setup. Now, I also add the one and a five, um, Civil horns or civil arms on both of them. Now, this is when it comes to the few little issues. And also, I'm gonna talk about that uh, red cat uh, springs or shocks. On this right here in the back, I had a. I had a kind of like. This right here. Ground it around it so that uh the arm won't hit with the chassis or scrape also with a shock since it's thick i had to kind of go around it and yeah, not too much just a little you know grinding around on the other side too now on the front if you can see you see the shock right here. It's a scraping. This is right here. And this is because it, the shock is real thick. There's many reasons it kind of rubs on it. I mean, it's not a big deal, but at the same time, it, it kind of bothers you know it is. It's, and on the ones on the back, <clears throat> what happened is, whenever you reach up the car and you're gonna three wheel, it kind of goes up, but whenever you're doing three wheel, since this, the shock is thick, it kind of 
puts pressure on the arm against the, the servo. So doing that, it will make the servo get uh, more hot. And uh, it, get, it will get so hot that you, know, you will have to uh, turn off for a little while and let it cool down and make it work again, you know, but those just little details, you know, that, I mean, they know all these modifications that everybody's doing, um, adding this metal silver horns or arms, whatever you want to call it. And I think they should, you know, I guess either think about it or at least uh, should have made them not that thick. You know? I mean, like I said, the performance, the way they balance and, and everything, I mean, it's pretty good. It just, like I said, when it comes to doing all this mud, it's like adding a servos, arms, and all that stuff. It just get us on the way. And there's a problem with the ones on the back. One thing, like I said, when it's going through, well, it pushes in, or force in, the AR, the servo, or whatever you want to call it. So pushing it, it makes pressure on the servo itself. So it makes it makes the servo get hot and hotter to the point where, like I said, uh, you don't want to burn it, you know. So you have to cut it off. Now on the front, like I said, it's just the little issue that is rubbing on on here. But uh, other than that, you know, I mean, I guess it's good to go, you know. Now, on this one, I got that, uh, since I got that high voltage uh, servos on it. To get more, you know, more power out of, out of them, I have to use a, a BC. This is a 10 amp, and I got a 20 amp. For this, for this one, for the 59, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. with this 10 amp because you know, like I said, I don't want to go too crazy on it. Now I got on the 64. You know, I got on the 64 nothing but the uh, Jeffers 300s. On that one, uh, I already got a uh, BEC on it, also on the Monte Carlo. I got another BEC on it, so I'll do that. Now, this one right here, this one I'm out, I'm working on a new project. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add this one so it gets more. Power, well not power because you, know, you can set it up to the max of the servos that is 8.4 but you get constant voltage and it doesn't drop much if you have all those servos so if you're gonna do something like that remember that you're gonna need either the 40 amp or the 10 amp now what I've been using is a lipo battery that's right here so far I think it's one of the good ones of course you're gonna have to cut these wires add the BC and uh, the leak for the lipo battery this is a, this is a T60 so we yeah, have to match with it. But yeah, this is the one I've been using. And I I have been using it. Now another another uh 
thing I did, I did to it. So, the skirt, so like I said, it's a 59. Put a skirt on, it won't be rubbing the back wheels. What I did is I swapped that uh, rear end. It came with a one for the 64, but I went and added the one for the Monte Carlo because it's shorter than this, the one that uh, has a 64. And also, I tried to add some, uh, I think it was six mil, six mil um, adapter spacers. That didn't work, it still was sticking out and it was rubbing on the skirt. So I ended up adding the stuck ones, the four mil. And now I have no problem at all. Uh, it goes up and down, side to side, through well, like everything can rub it on. I'm gonna show you another bit. I'm gonna put that off, the body on it. I'm just gonna give you like an idea of what I did with the chassis. Also, I added that uh, magnet mount. I think for a 59, well, I got I got them on the mount on the 64, uh, the 791 thing. Monty, like a lot of them. <laughs> oh, well, anyways, yeah, um, the 79 Monte on that one. Oh, you cut it off. It came with a magnet already. So, I like the way you know where you can just you don't have to deal with the body, like flip it over, stuff like that, take care of the antennas and stuff like that. You just go ahead and mount on top the uh, the body and that's it so this is what i did with the 59 uh, then we don't have to be worrying about it breaking the antenna so we're not like that with the 59 it has one here and uh on the back they're real easy it's just kind of like snap in this one has also like a snap in but it has screws on the bottom Here. I'm gonna show you uh, the body a little bit. Uh, I just wanna run to this real quick for the viewers. Like I said, I've only been in this for the last two years. I'm not like a pro or nothing. There's a uh, homeboy, a YouTuber. He goes by uh, Northside Custom RC. He has a little videos, go check him out. He uh, shows details on everything he does on the servo, this is uh, shocks, everything. Go check him out and uh, check out his videos. I'll be checking out his videos too. I get a lot of info from him. But uh, so far, you know, this is a little video of uh, showing what I have done to the. 59. Like I said, uh, this battery is just stuck battery, so it doesn't gonna give a lot of use to to the servos and all that. Plus, I got the light kit, so yeah, I need more power, and more use, more bolts. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you how it works right here and how it works. show you how that uh, motors be uh, making that sound, the clanging sound, when it does it through it.
You see right there, you hear that sound? So right there it stops me. There's the point where it stops making sound. So there will be the point. If I keep going down, then you can see that it's making the sound, the sound because it's putting pressure against the servo on the arm. So yeah, that's one of the downsides of it. This wire right here is for the black cake. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. There we are, I can see it.
It's already been what 25 for about 26 minutes. I don't want everybody up there crashing down, falling asleep on me. <laughs> oh, cool. I appreciate it, homies. Um, well, like I said, just here, you know, I don't know, like I said, I'm not a pro, but the things that I know, you know, I show them. And uh, 
that way I can if you're being or have been on the RC for a long time or you just really get into the game you know this right here because like I said I'm, I've been only on it for two years and I learned my lessons too you know but uh, I'm still learning <laughs> I'm still learning but you know and I'm getting you know getting into it and I also have my computer I've been programming my servos so that's another thing that like I said whenever you get all that be prepared you know that you're gonna have to get all all kinds of all do all, all kinds of things to every part or everything you get it's not just like getting it and put it on you know? like since other people uh, make videos and it's like it's real easy but I mean maybe it is if you know a lot but if you're barely getting into it and it's gonna be all kind of hard you know but uh yeah I hope this video helps a lot or a few and uh I will see you around I will watch you and see y'all later take care y ahora este ratos